right. Is open stack We'll do the readiness one. We'll do the readiness one first. Okay. So the, the reality is that open source is this different model, right? Where you get to see, you know, that sausage being made every day. And so the problem is, you know, the challenge of that is like, even an internal organization is writing their own code. You always have the head of your development, and then at some point you, you get it you know, hardened and you deploy. OpenStack's the exact same way. So you still have to have the ability to know what to deploy, when to deploy, and how to sustain it. It's really no different, but from a technology maturation, it's absolutely in the early days, right? I mean, there's a lot of great things happening. Look, the, the, the number of projects in OpenStack, I think, went from the original two, which was just compute and storage, so now I think it's on the order of 10 or 12. We stopped tracking, because it's just every release, a couple more things get adding. So, so it's getting sort of both this breadth, as well as maturity and its core happening at the same time. So when you ask the question around sort of readiness, you almost have to ask the next question about which part are you talking about? Yeah, right? well, the so enterprise the grade, system or the enterprise grade right? one is one that's important. And that, yeah. You can't really rush that. Yeah, right? and that's, it's, you know, if you, you know, I mean, honest, our role, but you have a partner, it's not that hard, right? It's just that, because you just need the guidance on what, what, when, and how, and you don't really necessarily have to pave the new ground here. You just want to follow what everybody else is doing. What about the, the integrated stack component? Because Amazon does have a nice approach, and, folks, and that's why startups love Amazon, because you can yeah. just jump in there, they have no legacy, it's a green field for them, yeah. they can then, and they got auto-scaling, all, all this greatness going on there. Yeah. Now, with OpenStack, is that going to be something that we're going to see? I, I think it remains to be seen. I mean, it's only us vendors that like to classify stuff. You know, <laughs> I mean, guys don't really classify their products and categories the way the vendors do, and the way we do with foundations, and we line up and build consortiums. It's really still kind of broken. Right, so I, I'm a big believer in exactly what you just said is that, and I talked about this morning, is that the whole infrastructure category and platform service category are going to get completely obliterated. It's going to become one. I mean, you could name a million services that Amazon has, right? Are the infrastructure services or platform services? Who the hell cares? Yeah. It's, it, all, it all needs to be one. And we see the same thing with PaaS. The, the overlap between PaaS and infrastructure clouds is heavy right now, right? And yeah. So where does Amazon stop and Beanstalk begin? You don't really know. So. So we're going to drive that convergence because you end up with a better result. We're going to drive, in, in that case for us, it's OpenShift, but we're going to drive the convergence of that with OpenStack. And you, you end up with a better mousetrap. Yeah. So, so, so Brian, it, yeah, you, you've been talking about that, that merging of infrastructure and platform, and absolutely, if you look at somebody like Amazon, that line is greatly blurred. One thing we've seen from Amazon is when they release something, it's a tool that customers can take, and they, they've had lots of solutions that are getting you know, huge adoption you know, pretty fast, things like Redshift sure. to, you know, taking off. Um, you know, when are we going to have that, that killer app on the OpenStack side then? Yeah, well, that's the difference between, because they're in a different business, yeah. right? So the, because they're basically looking at sort of, how do we create interesting services to drive demand? It makes sense. So they need the killer app to drive the platform. Where we are, our customers have all of their apps. And they may not consider them killer apps, but man, that's their business, is, is running infrastructure underneath their apps and managing it. And they just got a broken platform underneath that on which to do it. So where we're coming is, we're not saying, you know what? write a whole new set of apps and start over and what, what is it good for? Our answer is everything because the core of everything around OpenStack is that runtime of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. The apps are already there with managing 22% of infrastructure you know, from Red Hat. The apps are already on the platform. And also